Hey guys, Renee Peace Cry here, and in today's Star Stable video, I'm going to be doing a list of, well, all the horses that I want. So, I only started playing Star Stable, like, legit this year, before I would just mess around, didn't really collect horses or anything. Um, but yeah, so I don't have any Star Coins right now, but I'm doing this list because when the next Double Star Coin weekend happens, um, I will be buying some, and then I'll do a video for you guys. And in that video, I will definitely going to be spending a bunch of star coins, buying my wish list horses. Maybe not all of them, but quite a few of them, and also some tax. So look forward to that video. This is just kind of the pre-video to that. So my first horse that I want is this Lusitano. I believe it's like a bay. Don't know for sure. But I mean, or maybe it's a dun. I have no idea. <laughs> Probably a dun. But look how gorgeous, oh my gosh, I just love like the sandy color and the pink nose, and um, it's just so cute, I love the Lusitano um, style and such, and then look how cute the little feet are, I love that little white mark right there, super cute, love the Lusitanos like I said, and I love the dapple print and the stripe going down the back, that is definitely pretty high on my list. This black Lusitano is really cute too, but I don't know if I'm going to put it on my list or not, but I do want an all black horse, but may or may not be that one, don't know yet, but if it is on my list, it's kind of low, if you know what I mean. So yeah, that was it for that. Now I'm going to go to the farm over here. I forgot what that guy's name was, um, but yeah. There's a horse over here that I like. So, not to be rude or anything, but I don't like any of these horses. So, yeah, rip. But here we are. So, I really want this horse, this Tinker horse. And I know that's the old style, but I don't know why. I just love the coloring. It's so beautiful. But I still think 950 star coins is pretty expensive for it. Um, concerning you can get like a new and illusion and stuff for that, but that's okay. I still think it's a gorgeous horse and I just love the coloring. I hope they update them soon. But yeah, so that's that. And then I did actually buy this Tinker Horse over here, which I low-key regret, uh, mostly because... Like, I could have bought that one for the same price, but whatever. I would do a horses I regret buying video, but I only have, like, two horses I regret buying, so... Yeah. So here we are. We're going to Silver Grade, because they have the great, um, and Illusions that came out. And the Acaltiques, so it's really cool. I basically want all of them, so... Yeah, so this one right here, don't know for sure if I want it yet. It's really cute, but I don't know if I want it for sure because it's kind of too yellow. But I, yeah, I would name it Bumblebee. Not from like the bee, but from the Transformer Bumblebee. Because it came out during the Bumblebee movie when that came out in theaters this summer. And oh my gosh, this horse is beautiful. I love her so much. I don't know if I would want her or not, but I'm pretty sure she's on my list. Just, I don't know how hi but so gorgeous she reminds me of Natasha Romanoff because she has like the red hair like Black Widow does so gorgeous and I love the end illusion so much and here's this black horse so I'm excited if I want this one or the Lusitano Lusitano is more of a darker shiny black with a stripe and this is more of a matte black and this white horse I don't know I love, like I said, I love all the end illusions. I kind of want every single one of them. But this one's really cute with the speckles and stuff, but I don't know. If it is on my list, it's pretty low because I don't want to have all the end illusions, even though I just kind of contradicted myself. But they are really cute, but I don't want to have, like, five of the same horse breed, you know what I mean? But these ones are cute, but I don't know. This end illusion is really cute. I kind of regret buying um, the Acaltique over there. 
that's the same Camello color just because I kind of like the Andalusian better because I like the main color on the Andalusian more than I like the Stackle Teak. But that's okay. But speaking of Aqua Teaks, oh my gosh, this is probably number one on my list because I love this one so much. I don't know why I didn't buy this one in the first place. Um, because it's so gorgeous. And I love the little white rain right there on its hoof. Super cute. It's really like, it doesn't have too much detail, but it's really simple and I love it. And I will definitely keep the main style, the short mane, because it looks gorgeous on this one. Again, I love pink noses, and it's only eight fifty star coin, so that's pretty good. But yeah, definitely want that one. I love the aquatiques; they're pretty cute. And then over here is the dapple gray and illusion. So yeah, basically all the end illusions are on my list. But, look how gorgeous. I just think this one is super, super unique, and everyone thinks so too, because everyone has this one. But, I mean, just look at it. Look at the beautiful, like, leg markings. They're really unique, like I said. They're not just stockings. They're kind of, like, mix-matched. And the dapples are beautiful, and the shading. And the nose is crinkly. Everything is just adorable about this one. So, definitely pretty high on my list as well. Maybe number two. This Aquatic was on my list, but after the End Illusion came out, um, I think they just look way too similar. Like, they look the same, basically. So, I don't want it. And, yeah. All the other horses I'm not going to look at, because I know I don't want them. But now, I think we're going to go to Fort Pinta. Here's just a little clip of me running through the meadow. I like my new outfit. I just bought a matching saddle for the saddle pad, so I kind of wanted to show it off. And I also have mixed match bows. I don't know if you guys like that or not. It's a gray head bow with a black tail bow. I thought it looked pretty cool because it matched my fit, but I don't know. And I, of course, have Salem, my black cat, running with me. Like I said, when I bought her, she will always be by my side. I will never change pets with her, honestly, because she's just like my real life cat. So over here, um, this one's really cute, this North Swedish, but she's not really on my list. This Chink and Tink, I don't know for sure. If it is on my list, it's kind of low, but I just think it's really cute. I just really like the circles around the eyes with the different colors, and that's super unique. And they're pretty inexpensive, but I wish they were as cheap as the starter ponies, which are only like three fifty, which is literally like half of the price of this horse, but that's fine. Um, still pretty inexpensive compared to other horses on my list that are like nine hundred. So over here, um, don't really know. Here's the chestnut curly, and he's not really on my list, even though he is really cute and unique, and his head is stretching. Look at that. I don't know why. Just don't. Uh, particularly like him. He w does look the fuzziest out of all of the curly horses, I have to say, though. And this Clyde still, I don't know for sure. I did want it at the start of the game, but now I'm not so sure. I kind of want a different Clyde scale, and you see you later. So now I'm going to go to the deck and look at the starter ponies. So, yeah. And here I am failing, I usually make that jump. And I of course hit another wall because I'm a noob at Star Stable. But like I said earlier, when I was contradicting myself about not wanting like five of the same breed, I have currently three of the starter ponies and if I get this one, I will be number four. I will definitely get this one though. It's been on my list literally since the beginning of um the time I've been playing this game, so the beginning of this year, and it's just super cute, don't know why I haven't gotten her yet, just have it, and love her, probably just haven't gotten her because I literally had three other ponies, but I just think this breed is really cute, and I love, like, all the coats. This chestnut one is even beautiful, 
Um, I'm still debating on this one too, but probably not on my list, but maybe later in life, but still pretty cute, but not for me right now. And this pony, I think, looks identical to the new curly horse, minus the, um, the blind eye, but it literally basically looks the same. And you guys will see that later on this, in this video. So now I'm going to go to Jarlheim. I ran all the way over here and then I had to wait for it because it left like right before I got here. I hate when that happens. I mean you only have to wait like one minute in game but it seems like you're waiting like 10 minutes. But here we are. The magic of editing you can just skip everything. But yeah, you can slowly see my horse's level being leveled up uh, because in the middle of this video I'm doing races at the places I'm visiting, so that way I'm not just wasting running around. But right here, look at this Jorvik wild horse, so cute. I want this one, but I technically really want the birch tree one, but I didn't get it in time before it left. So I was pretty sad about that, but... I'll get it when it comes back, because I'm sure it will eventually. So this is the Clydesdale I wanted. I, I just think it's really cute. It's kind of like a peachy orange color. Peachy orange, peachy orange red, I don't know. Really cute. So that's the Clydesdale I want. All of these are cute, honestly. I like all of them, but this gray one is cute as well, but it also looks like the new End Illusion, so... Since I am getting that end illusion, I probably won't get the gray Clydesdale. On to Veildale. So, I really want the Fjord, the woodier mushroom one from the Halloween, like, Jorvik Wild Horse. But I didn't have enough star coins at the time. And I really regret it, but I will definitely get it next year. I hope it comes out next year. But I didn't really like the spotted pattern of it. But the Fjord I do want is this, like, light gray one. I think it's really cute, and it tolerates cold, which is nice. I always need those horses, especially for Dino Valley. But I just think it's so cute, and they look like they're smiling. And it has the, like, stripe going down the back, and I just love the tail. The details on the leg is adorable as well, pretty unique. And that North Swedish over there is also pretty cute. Probably low on my list, but I do like the really dark purple but not too high on my list but I'll probably eventually get a North Swedish and if I do it would be that purple one now I'm going to look at the curlies because might as well they are coming out with new curlies in a couple of days um, don't know for sure if I want any of those so that's why I'm just filming this video before because I know if I do get a curly it would probably be one of these two rather than the new the three new ones that are coming out in a few days. So I know I showed a lot of gray horses, but for some reason I just like gray. But here's this one really cute. I think this one has some less curls though, which is kind of upsetting. Um, but the pink nose is so cute and I love um, the curly design. But I just think that the legs are kind of dull. Uh, so yeah. And this one literally doesn't not look like that pony I was showing you. It looks basically the same, just like stretched. Except like I said, the really cool eye that's blind. Which is cool, but I don't know for sure if I, w I would want it just for that. But it does have really cool detailing and in the ears as well. It's super curly. But I don't know. I I like them and I'm not a huge fan of the curly horses. But this North Swedish is really cute as well. Um... I don't know, is it a Perlino, I think? I think this one's adorable for only 749 Star Coins. Pretty inexpensive compared to other ones. But, yeah. And now it's totally dark, and it's because I just got back from work and was going to do some training. And totally forgot that I wanted to show you guys um, some horses over here in Dundal, so... I was talking about that other Connemara before, 
but here's some other ones. I think this one's really cute. Um, really cute. Kind of low on my list, though. I'm kind of more to buy. I'd rather buy the new Connemara in the app uh, before these guys. But yeah, look at this sleep in one. It literally looks like it's winking. But um, this one also is really cute. Don't know for sure if I want it, but I just think the dapples are so adorable. Well, I guess flea bits. I don't know if they're really called dapples. But yeah, and also this henna baron is really cute. It's basically the gray version of um, Sasha, the horse that I'm riding right now. But like I said, I love gray horses, and I think it's really cute. Um, pretty low on my list, but still love it. And more Clydesdales. This gray one is also really cute. Oh my gosh, so many grays on my list, but I just still think it's cute. Probably won't get it, but I will, um, if I ever got a second Clydesdale, I will get this one after that, like, peachy orange color one. But, yeah, pretty cute, though. I think it's adorable. So, that's about it. Um, there's some other cute ones over here. I mean, there is this gray one, which I'm kind of conflicted about because I like the light gray one. But this darker gray one is also gorgeous. It has, like, the same main style and color. But I don't know if I want this one or the lighter gray. Maybe this one? Like I said, I love gray horses. I just don't know why. There's so many on this list. But, yeah. Don't know yet. Don't know which one I would buy. But definitely one of the two. Yeah, so there's also this tracking ear over here. Which I think is adorable and everything. But it kind of looks too similar to the Aquatique that I was showing you guys earlier. I mean, not that similar, but too similar to me. I don't want... Um, them both in my stable, if you guys know what I mean. But, yeah, that was basically it. So, yeah, sorry, it's so dark. Okay, so, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Please leave a like. Comment down below what are your guys' top three uh, horses you want on Star Stable. Don't forget to subscribe, and see you guys later. Bye, love you guys. Bye.